Chile. The parable that we will discuss today is the parable of the elder brother. We'll be looking at Luke chapter 15 verses 25 through 32. 请翻到路加福音十五章，二十五节开始。路加福音十五章，我们从二十五节开始。So uh, I'll have Stephen go ahead and, and, and read, and he'll he'll read the first verse, and then if the congregation will read the second, and then when you stop reading, then I'll know to change the slide because I don't speak Chinese. <laughs> 大家都找到 你父亲因为得他无灾无病的为来<笑> 父亲对他说儿啊你常和我同在我一切所有的都是你的父亲对他说儿啊你常常和我同在我一切所有都是你的我是不是闹理解没有三十二节三十二节只是你这个儿子只是你这个兄弟是死而复活死而要得的所以我
Instead of being happy, he's angry. This is we have to remember that this is a parable or a story told by Jesus. Everyone who was listening would have been surprised by the reaction of the older brother. In order to discover our spiritual opportunity today, we're going to spend some time dissecting his response. There's something wrong with the older brother and his relationship with his father. Remember that a parable is an analogy or a comparison to real life. So the spiritual analogy of him not being right with his father would be him not having salvation. He is like the Pharisees or the self-righteous religious leaders listening to the story. These leaders serve God's house and his temple, but they do not know him. Brothers and sisters, please be warned, it is possible to be lost in the house just as much as it's possible to be lost in the world. In other words, church attendance doesn't guarantee a good relationship with God. 弟兄姐妹们可能也可以是迷失还没有得着救恩的人 The parable has three main characters 那这个比喻当中有三个人物 The first character is the father who represents God 第一个人物父亲来是代表着父神 The second character is the younger brother who represents the tax collectors and the sinners Jesus ministered to. The, the elder brother is the third and final character, and he represents the religious leaders um, with no heart for the sinners. It's easy for us to see the sin in the younger brother. The younger brother has left home and, and taken money from his father's Inheritance. He's lived in a way that would bring his family dishonor. But the sin in the older brother is more subtle. The great biblical scholar uh, John MacArthur explained it this way. John MacArthur, But the truth is, the elder son was secretly much more of a rebel than the prodigal son had ever been. 
，实在说来，这个大儿子所犯的罪比小儿子所犯的罪还要重。He wasn't as obvious in showing his contempt for his father as the prodigal had once been. 他所犯的隐藏的罪，虽然没有张扬表明藐视他父亲。But, 所犯的这种罪 ，But he privately nurtured the same wicked heart of rebellion, the same lust, and the same selfish attitude. 但是他这一种隐藏的罪，对父亲的呃不顺从、反叛，乃是非常的微妙、非常的隐藏的，但是心中却是没有知道父亲的心意。It's hard to detect an elder brother because on the surface. Their actions are obedient. Uh, 对于这个大儿子的罪呢，不容易察觉出来，因为表面上他们的行为好像是顺从的。But there is a darkness that exists inside their heart. 但是却在内心的深处，却隐藏着这个反叛的罪。As we explore our our three points in in、uh, today's message, the first is the strength in the older brother. 今天我要讲三个点，第一个点呢，就是。呃，说到这个大儿子的长处 ，We have to take a moment to understand the strength that the other the older brother had in order to learn from his lesson. 首先，我们要认定他有他的长处，以知道我们能够好好的反省我们自己。Verse twenty five in our in our in our verses say that the older son was in the field. 楼一二十五节所说呢。So, so while the prodigal son was in a distant country, squandering away his inheritance with wild living, the older son stayed at home. 小儿子在玩，他在呃乱花他父亲的这个产业，但是呢，大儿子却在干活，却在工作。This is good, right? That he stays home to help his father. 干活留在家里面帮助父亲，这是好的，对不对 ？If any if any of the townspeople were to ask about the older brother, they would have said he was a good son. 那如果镇里面的人来问，大家都问，大家都觉得大儿子是好的，小儿子是不好的。Probably some would have added, the that wonderful father has one reprobate or one、um, bad son. And one son who's broke his heart, and the other son is good. Now, 甚至有人说了，你看这个家里面有两个孩子，小儿子呢伤了父亲的心，但是大儿子呢，呃，却是呃非常令父亲心满意足。In verse twenty-five, we see that he was he was loyal. He stayed home. 那么他在家里面，他是非常的忠实。It says. Meanwhile, the older son was in the field. When he came near the house, he heard music and dancing. 那个时候，大儿子在田里面，他回来离家不远，听见做了跳舞的声音。What this verse reminds me of is that Jesus doesn't just come looking for those who are out in the world. 这一节来提醒我们，主耶稣今天来寻找罪人。并不单是寻找世界上的罪人，乃是寻找在田中工作的罪人。He's he's not just here to help those whose sin has been found out， 并不是来拯救哪一些他们的罪非常的明显的一些罪人。Jesus is also concerned about those whose sin is still a secret。主耶稣也是非常关心那些在隐藏啊。We also see another strength of the elder son. 那么大儿子还有另外一个长处。He he was working in the field、um, where he belonged. 那么他就在自己的田里面干活。Verse twenty six says he called one of the servants and he asked him what was going on. 二十六节他叫一个仆人来问他发生什么事情。The older brother deserves credit that he was where he was supposed to be. 那么这个大儿子，呃，从这方面来说，他是对的。他呃，就在他该在的地方来工作，来干活，来，我们就在田里面找到他
Some of you who are parents here can imagine how difficult it would be to see one of your, your children fall into sin. Imagine how much more difficult it would be to see all your children fall into sin. The third strength that we see from the, from the older brother is that he was respectable. Um, he did not waste his father's money. So these are all good qualities. Loyal, hardworking, respectable. All the way up to verse 27, it's not clear that the older brother has a problem. In verse 27, your brother has come home, the father replied. And, and your father has killed the fatted calf, and because he has, he has come back safe and sound. So the servant is sharing with him this good news. Jonathan Edwards says the following. Uh, Jonathan Edwards. He is a uh, he is a, a famous theologian. 那么是, True religion is a powerful thing. A fervent and a vigorous engagedness of the heart. What he's saying is that religion has the possibility to be powerful. It has the ability to transform our entire lives. But only if our heart is fully engaged with our actions. It is not enough to be a robot and be compliant on the outside. We must remain true on the inside as well. We see the difference here between the two sons is that the prodigal son realized his sinful condition and repented. While the older brother didn't even realize he had a sin problem. The older brother remained faithful to his father, which was good. But he allowed his faithfulness to produce an attitude of bitterness against his brother and his father. In other words, faith has the ability to get us thinking that God owes us something. There is a great danger in seeing God 
as a debtor and us as being um, as God being lucky for us to be on His team. Why do you have such a high level? Ah, just to feel that ah, God ah, He is a good man. So, ah, ah, today we are serving Him. We are ah, to God. 好像带来一些好处的一样，这种的态度。As we look at the next couple of verses in our section, we see our second point. 那么，或许我们再讲下去的时候呢，能够把第二点带出来，讲得更加更加的清楚。We see that not only did the older brother have strength, the older brother also had sin. 这个大儿子他不但有他自己的长处。但是他同时有他的罪。We see the phrase in verse 28, the older brother became angry and refused. 那么二十八节写下去的时候呢，就更加的清楚了。大儿子却甚是不肯进去。Instead of rejoicing at his brother's return, he comes home and he is angry. 他应该为着弟弟回来，应该是很高兴的，但是呢，他没有，而且他生气，而且呢，他不愿意进家。If we look back at verse 27, we see the report is that your brother came back safe and sound. 那么二十七节不是说你的弟弟已经回来了吗？啊，他非常的好，呃，非常的不错，现在呃，终于无债无病的回来了。The original Greek word used here means that he didn't just come home safely, but he came home better than he left. 那么这个无灾无病的回来，呃，不单是说他，呃，呃，不单是说他他负面的，而是说他他回来的情况比他离家时候的情况还要好。We imagine that the older brother comes in verse number twenty-eight. 二十八节，我们留意这个大儿子。And it says the older brother became angry and refused to go in, so his father went out to plead with him. 大儿子却生气不肯进去，然后呢，父亲就出来劝他。We imagine that the older brother at first must think my father is having a party without me. 然后大儿子可能那个时候说，你看父亲他在开 party， 但是呢，居然我不在当中，他开 party。The the description of this party here is this sort of once in a lifetime type of party. 那么这个 party 啊是了不起的 party， 好像就是一生一世的那一种 party. These types of celebration would be a would would be generally reserved for the eldest son. 这种的庆祝，那么大儿子他觉得应该是为我预备的。Because they were so expensive and so many things. Were involved. These were very special occasions. 花了这么多钱，花了这么多人事物，那么这个是一个非常特别庆祝的时候。And it never occurs to the older brother that that maybe the party is for the younger brother. 大儿子从来都没有想过，啊，居然父亲为这个小儿子开这样的一个 party。This guy has been out running the streets and wasting all of our family's money and bringing dishonor to our family. This person, he took our family's assets and went to a distant place, wasting our family's money and wasting our family's name. So, so the first sin that we see in this older brother is hypocrisy. So, we see the first sin that we see in this older brother. 他是啊，他、呃、这个罪就是需要起表，啊、呃。Hypocrisy is like the 咱们咱们一下。Hypocrisy is like the the inner sin of religion without a change of heart. 那咱们为善就是只有外面嘛，啊，没有内心的真实的悔改。It represents a separation between my internal. And my external self. 那么这个为什么会长毛为善呢？因为这个里外不一致，里面跟外面分开了。Notice he should have he he should have been excited, but instead he was enraged. 那如果他真的是里外一致的时候，这个时候他应该是快乐的，但是他没有快乐，反而生气。Shouldn't we be happy when our 
family comes home safe? 如果我们迷失的家人回家，我们是不是应该感觉到欢喜快乐 ？Shouldn't we be happy when people learn from their mistakes? 如果人们为了自己所犯的问题，他学到教训，我们应该是非常他们回家了，我们非常的兴奋。Are we waiting there with a wagging finger saying, "I told you so"？ 还是我们在等待他们用着这一个批评论断的指头，指着他们说：“你看。” In verse 29, we see the second sin of the older brother. 二十九节，我们留意这个大儿子第二个罪。It says, "But he answered his father, 'Look, all these years I have been slaving for you and have never disobeyed your orders.'" 那他对父亲说，你看了这么多年，我服侍了，好像一个仆人一样的服侍你这么多年。Yet you never gave me even a young goat. That I could celebrate with my friends. 没有违违背违违违背过你的命，而且你没有给一只山羊羔，使他呃要我的朋友一起的快乐。Notice what it says here in the verse. He saw himself as a slave rather than a son. 老易，这里他看到好像跟父亲工作，不是儿子跟父亲工作，乃是一个仆人，一个奴仆为父亲工作，这么多年。Sin has a way of confusing our identity. So, in us, it gives us a way of confusing our identity. Self-pity is the outcome of when religion is based on our works. What is the solution to this? It is to use our own actions to please God. In other words, when we see religion and our relationship with God as something that we can earn. 换言之间，金钱或许我们跟神的关系，仿佛好像一些的东西，我们靠着自己的努力能够去争取一样。The third sin that we see with the older brother is self-righteousness. 啊，第三个大儿子的毛病，他的罪就是他的自义。We see this in verse thirty. 三十节 But but when the son of yours who has squandered your property with prostitutes and comes home, you kill the fatted calf for him. 你看他怎么自义呢？但但你这个儿子，他是指着自己的弟弟说，而仓居仓居吞进了你的产业，他一来了，你倒为他宰了肥牛犊。Notice he refused. To go into the house to even see his brother. You 老易这个时候呢，他不愿意进到家里面，为的是不愿意见到他的弟弟。So our heavenly Father, the good news, brothers and sisters, that our heavenly Father does not only run out to meet prodigals, but He also walks out to talk to hard-headed, cold-hearted brethren and sisters who've lost sight. To forgive and love. 呃，弟兄姐妹，请留意，我们知道父神他的爱不单是呃扬着手欢迎啊、呃、这个远道已经离世了多年的啊、呃、小弟弟回家，他同时也在邀请许多迷失在家的大儿子，请他们归家。In other words, brothers and sisters, sometimes we can be stubborn. 弟兄姐妹，请留意。这个不单是大儿子，也是很多时候的我们，很多时候都是很顽固。We can be less compassionate than we should be. 我们很多时候缺乏呃怜悯，缺乏同情。The same God who forgives those of us that do despicable acts. 同样的一位神，赦免了这个小儿子所犯的滔天大罪。Is the same God who cares about us who come to church every Sunday but don't have a soft heart. 同一位神也能够赦免我们周复一周的来到教会当中聚会，但是对神的心却是何等的刚硬。All the older brother can see is how hard he has worked、um, and how much he has done, and his father, it seems all for nothing. 那、呃、这个大儿子仿佛觉得。他为父亲忠心服侍这么多年，他好像一点东西都没有从父亲那边拿到
he basically gets to a point in his conversation with his father and says, is this all there is? But brothers and sisters, before we close out this, this message, I need to share with you the solution for the older brother. The father says to the older brother in verse 31, Everything that I have is yours. Brothers and sisters, as children of God, everything that God has, He has given and will share with us. In the heart of the older brother, his, his jealousy over what his brother has gotten has, has made him forget what he already has. Can anybody else admit um, to having this struggle? This idea that I'm spending so much time focusing on someone else's life. Someone else's job, someone else's um, wife, someone else's children. That I forget everything that God has given me. We have to admit to ourselves that even if we're in the church, we still need a Savior. In verse 31, My son, the father said, You are always with me. And everything that I have is yours. Brothers and sisters, this is an incredible promise when you think about it for me. Remember the Remember that the Father represents God. And what God is saying to us is that He is always with us. On your best day and on your worst day. He will never leave you nor forsake you. But the challenge that the elder brother is having is he sees the celebration as a reward to be earned instead of, of um, something to be given. The second part of the solution we see um, in verse uh, 32. So it says, But we had to celebrate and be glad because his brother of yours was dead and is alive again, he was lost and is found. The Father says that a celebration is not an option, it is required. Uh, the, 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 the problem is that the, the, uh, the, so the celebration, the celebration is, is, is required. It, 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 is not, it is not something that's optional, it is something that is required. 
并不是可有可无的，它是必须有的。And so we we see here that the problem is not、um, in being sons, but in being brothers. 那么。Get the context, okay? So the so the problem is not in being sons; it's it is it is in being brothers, because the father doesn't have an issue in loving his sons. The problem is between the brothers loving each other. 这个难处呢，就是构成这个难处呢，就是兄弟之间的关系。那么，呃，与其说是跟父亲出现的难处，不如说就是。大儿子跟小儿子，他们兄弟关系当中，他平面的出现这个难难处，并不是垂直的，跟父神、跟父亲出现这个难处，所以难处乃是这个平行的兄弟伤害的这个关系出现的难处。So so God has no difficulty、um, accepting back the the prodigal son and forgiving them, but the brothers do. 那父神当然，这个父亲作为父亲的，当然没有问题接受这个呃小儿子为家，呃，不能接受的是兄弟之间，这个大儿子不能接受小儿子。Now let's just take a moment and put ourselves in the place of the father。那让我们把自己呃放到作为父亲的这个角色来想一想整个的事情。One of your children was lost. And now you've decided to throw a party to celebrate their return. 那你作为父母了，那你其中一个离家出走的孩子啊、呃、回家了，那么你就为他庆祝开一个很大的 party. In the midst of all the dancing and the partying and the music and the celebration, you look out and you see the older brother. 那么在这个呃跳舞作乐的声音当中，你看出去，哎，看到。大儿子不在家里面啊，他在田里面，他在离家不远，但是他在家外面。I imagine if I were the father, I would want to grab my son by his ear. 如果我是那个父亲，我就一手就把他拉起来，把他拉到家里面。And I would instruct him to get happy right now. 然后呢，呃，拉着他的耳朵，跟他说：“你现在就要欢喜快乐。” But the father in this story doesn't do that. 但是比喻当中的父亲没有这样做。He's compassionate to his older brother, just like he is to the younger son. 那么这个父亲对着这个大儿子也是同样的怜悯，跟他对小儿子的怜悯一样。He talks to him. He listens to him. He even pleads with him. 他跟他讲话，跟听他讲话，而且呢，还求他。But the the older brother seems to have nothing to do with what his father is saying. He rejects it all. 呃，劝他，但是呢，这个大儿子不听劝，啊，不听父亲的话。And so I just we don't have an answer in the Bible, but I just ask myself the question: What do you think ever happens to the older brother? 那今天在经文里面没有记载，但是我要问大家的一个问题：这个大儿子他最后怎么样？ I mean, I can just imagine him pouting all night long and dropping his head and walking off into the dark wilderness. 那你可能想想其中一个情况呢，就是他还是没有回到家里面。那他在做什么呢？他在干活，一直干到天晚，还是在干活。But but did he did he return? Did he learn a lesson? Did he? Recognize the sin problem. 最后他到底有没有认清他的光景？有没有悔改他的罪呢 ？Have we learned our lesson? 我们到底有没有学到我们该学的功课 ？I I like to have these visuals to help explain the relationship between the father、uh, and his two sons. 最好我用这样一个图来加一些的描述整个的故事。So we see one line, one arrow going down to the prodigal son. 那么从父亲那边有一条线，那么下来到那个迷失的这个小儿子当中。We see that the the father's response to his prodigal son is 
hopeful, loving, and forgiving. 那么父父亲对这个小儿子，他的这个关系呢，他是呃充满着盼望的，他是慈爱的，他是饶恕的。And then we see another arrow going from the prodigal son up to the father. 在这个迷失的小儿子当中，要有一条线去了父亲那边。We see that he was hurt, selfish, rebellious, and ungrateful. 那么这个小儿子呢，他是受伤的啊，他呃，他是伤害人的，他是自私的，他是背叛的，他是没有恩典的。And on the opposite side of the triangle, we see、uh, an arrow going from the from the elder or the good son up to the father. 那么从另外一边，我们要看到从大儿子有一条线到父亲那边。We see that he was selfish. Ungrateful and bitter. This elder son, he is selfish. He is not giving. He is bitter. But we see the arrow coming back down from the father. From the father to his side. As being loving and teaching. As being loving and teaching. Father, father is full of love and teaching. And he is also teaching. And we see the arrow from the from the from the. From the elder son to the younger brother. 那么从哥哥到弟弟有有一条线。He was jealous, angry, and estranged. 这个哥哥对弟弟的态度呢，乃是他是呃生气的，他是这一个不亲近的，啊，他是这个苦读的，他是这个呃呃 jealous， 呃嫉妒的。The the desire of the father is for the older brother to draw closer to him. 那么父亲的心意呢，乃是都要与他亲近。And as the elder brother draws closer to the father, 所以当这一个大儿子如果跟父亲更更近的时候 ，the hope is that he will become more like the father. 那么他就跟父亲的这一个心情越来越像。Brothers and sisters, my desire for you is that you become more hopeful, more loving, and more forgiving. 弟兄姐妹，今天我对大家的盼望也是让我们呃更加的有爱心，更加的有盼望，呃，更加的有怜悯。So the final question I want to leave for you is: Are you lost at home? 最后一个要问大家的问题就是。今天我们是不是在家中迷失的的人呢 ？When I was when I was younger, I was the responsible one in my family. 呃，当我呃年轻长大的时候呢，我们家中很多个兄弟姐妹，那我都是拿一个呃勤奋的干活的的人。When there was 尽责任的。When there was a holiday celebration or event, I would do all the cooking. I would do all the cleaning because both of my parents had to work. 然后节日来到的时候呢，我记得都是我们家里面谁都不煮，呃，父母亲也忙碌工作。那么这是我在煮所有的煮菜啊、煮饭啊，啊，预备各种的节日。And I would anxiously wait for my parents to get home. 然后呢，呃，殷勤的等着我的父母亲亲回家。To pat me on my head and say you are a good son, and look at my brother and say why can't you be like him? 然后呢，拍吗？父父母就拍我的肩膀啊，给我鼓励鼓励，家长。然后呢，就跟我的兄弟们说，为什么你不像他 ？Brothers, this brothers and sisters, this service is to be a celebration. 弟兄姐妹，这样的一个呃，我们这样聚在一起，其实是一个庆祝。If you come to church on Sundays and you don't have joy in your heart on a regular basis, 这样的一个庆祝，如果每一次我们来聚会的时候，我们内心没内心没有充满着喜乐的话 ，you may be lost at home and you should pray with someone about that. 那或许你也是在家中迷失的迷失的一个人，或许你要找一些弟兄姐妹一起来祷告。We should have joy to spend time with the Father and to spend time. With our brothers and sisters. 我们来到的聚会当中，不单我们啊欢喜跟父神亲近，我们也应该跟我们的欢喜跟我们的弟兄姐妹来亲近。There is nothing in this house that you can earn. Everything in this house is a free gift from God. 在神的家中，每一样事情都不需要我们去争取，不需要用我们自己的
呃功劳去迎娶，都是神亲自的赏给我们的。As we prepare to, to talk about our our three、um, gospel applications， 那我再总结来，今天有一些实际的应用。We will continue to talk about the three R's of the parables. The first being relationship. 那第一个点我要讲的就是关系。A relationship is a touch that transforms. 关系能够更新，能够改变我们。What we learn from this lesson is that religious experience does not always mean you have a saving faith. 那很多时候我们对神的这一种。金钱啊，那个，特别是说到这一种金钱，并不能带来我们的救恩。We find in Second Peter 2:21, it says it would it would have been better for them not to have known the ways of righteousness than to have known it and then to have turned back on the sacred command than to pass on to them. 啊，彼得后书里面说。啊，因为认识了义的道路以后，背弃了老招来招托给他们神圣的诫命，对他们来说，倒不如不认识还好。What this verse says is it would be better to not know the truth than to ignore the truth。那意思就是说呢，呃，我们如果知道真道，但是却背弃了，这个比不认识真道。呃，还有不好。There could be someone who's sitting in this congregation today, and that you're counting on your own works, counting on your your own good behavior to find your way into heaven. 呃，不知道在座当中，我们是不是有一些弟兄姐妹是靠着我们自己的金钱，对神的这一种金钱，来迎娶我们到到神那边去的这一个。这一个，这一个资格，或许这一个，怎么说？呃，机会。We have to remember that our our actions will not earn our ways into heaven. That that God is not impressed with our actions or our activities. 请留意，我们其实不能靠着我们去自我的行为，能够讨神的喜悦。The second R that we see here is righteousness. 那第二个 R 我要讲的就是公义。Righteousness has to do with the way that we think. 那公义乃是说到我们怎么去想。Understand that true saving faith is is a faith that turns from sin. 真正的呃悔改，乃是意味着我们离开罪恶的生活。这个乃是一个真正的悔改。In other words, my belief in God should impact both my behavior、um, towards Him and my behavior towards others. 那意思就是说，我们对神的这个信，应该不单是影响我们跟神的关系，也影响我们彼此之间的这个人际关系。First John uh, three uh, verse six and seven says, "No one who lives in himself." Keeps on sinning. No one、um, who continues to sin, either、um, seeing himself or knowing himself. Dear children, do not let anyone lead you astray.、Uh, the one who does what is right is righteous, just as he is righteous. 约翰一书里面说，凡住在他里面的，就不犯罪。凡犯罪的是未曾看见他，也未曾认识他。小子们啊，不要被人诱惑。行义的才是义人，正如主是义的一样。And so while our our behaviors do not、um, earn our way into heaven, they give us an indication of the condition of our heart. 当然，我们不能靠着我们的行为而得救，但是行为却能够显明我们到底有没有这个真的信心。And finally, the the final R is revelation, a truth that transforms. 那最后一个点我要提的就是这个启示。What we see here is that Jesus seeks those、um, lost in the church as as much as those who are lost in the world. 呃、uh, 
这个圣经里面经文里面所提的啊，这个迷失在世界当中，失迷在世界当中啊，跟失迷在教会里面同都是同一样的失迷。And so we see 1 John,、uh, I'm sorry, John 15, verse 13, probably one of the most famous verses in the Bible. It says, Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friend. Brothers and sisters, in other words, Jesus thought that you and I were worth dying for. And that should change our lives forever. So, in the Bible, it says, "Jesus said to us, 'We are worthy of death.' He willingly gave His life for us. Why? Because He was worthy of death. He willingly gave His life for us. And that Jesus' love for us is unconditional and without limit. Jesus' love for us is unconditional and without limit. Therefore, we should share that love with everyone we encounter with great joy." 所以我们也应该要跟我们啊弟兄姐妹朋友一起的去分享这个从神而来的爱。The the final point of this parable is that it is all about joy, and I learned a song when I was a young person that said our priorities about joy is Jesus, others, and then yourself. 所以整个的中心点，我今天还是说到喜乐啊，喜乐这个字呢，英文就是 J O Y。那么 J O Y 呢，就是首先是主耶稣 Jesus 是第一的，然后呢 O 就是 others 就是别人是第二的，然后呢 Why？ So what is why？ So why is you？ 啊、uh, why why is you？ <笑>你啊、uh, Why 就是你？你啊？是第三。Amen. Let us pray. 好，请我们一起祷告。Most heavenly Father, God, we thank you for the gifts of your word. 天父神，我们要感谢你，感谢你今天所给我们所所看的这一段经文。We pray that your word would penetrate into our heart and that we would be able to use it this week. 我们求你的话能够进到我们的心中，以致到我们今这一这一周能够运用。That by your love and by your power that you would draw us close to you. 用你的慈爱，用你的大能，主要你吸引我们靠近你。That we would learn to see people the way that you see them. 让我们能够看人好像你看人一样。And that we would learn to see ourselves the way that you see us. 也看我们自己好像你看我们自己一样。We thank you for your divine patience and your divine wisdom. 我们感谢你啊，这个神圣的呃，向我们的忍耐以致恩典。And we pray the peace that passes all understanding be with everyone present today. 我们求你所赐出人意外的平安，来常与我们众人同在。In Jesus' name, we pray. 奉主耶稣基督的名祷告。Amen. Amen.